Hi, my name is Joyce Joseph, and I'm a senior financial consultant with Western Computer, and I'm also a CPA. I've been working in the AX space for the last 10 years, and I've been involved in over 15 implementations. Today, what I would like to share with you is how to do a simple accounts payable check run. So if you're the AP clerk responsible for the check run, you would come to your dashboard and you would look for the workspace here called vendor payments. And you would create a new vendor payment run. Before we go any further, the process would be that once we start creating a payment journal, we need to have the system go out and select all open invoices that we would like to pay. We would then have the system cut a check, which in dynamics means generate a check, and then we would post that payment journal to the general ledger. So the first step is here we have a new payment journal that we're going to create. So we're going to choose vendor payment. Today's date happens to be November the 30th. So I'm going to actually label this as 11 2017 so that I would be able to find this payment maybe three months down the road. So I'm going to go in. And as I mentioned, the first part is that we need a payment proposal. So we go up to the payment proposal and say create payment proposal. So in this area, this is where we're going to, as it says, select the invoices. So the best way to select invoices I always use is the due date and cash discount date. So we have that selected. And from my last time I ran payments, I was looking at invoices that were created between June 1st of 2017 and today's date. So that criteria stays with me and I can change it accordingly. The payment date, that's the date of which the general ledger payment journal would be using for posting. So as I mentioned, today's November the 30th. So instead of me having to type out November 30th or use that calendar icon, I can type the letter T, hit the tab button, and the system will automatically put that date in for me. I'm also removing the minimum payment date. That's really not something that's important for us. I'm going to roll this up so we can think about how we use this to really fine tune our selection. So we're going to go to records to include. You'll notice that I've already filled out the records to include that basically it's saying that I want vendors number 001, 002, and 111. And of those vendors, I only want to make sure that their method of payment is checked on any open invoices. So how do I do that? In order to understand how I was able to set the criteria, I went to filter. And there are a number of criteria here, such as vendor. And I selected the vendors. I entered the vendor numbers that I wanted. Then I went down to method of payment and I selected the various methods of payments from the drop down. And you can see that if I wanted, I could select also on currency. And if there's a different line here that you need, there's this add button here and you would be able to add another criteria. But this is all I need. So, if this is a criteria that I use every week, I don't want to have to always have to enter this. I'd like to be able to save the query. So the way you do that is go up to modify here and say save as, give it a name, something like test one and hit OK. Now it's going to be in the listing of queries. You'll notice that I probably have some other queries in here, another special vendor and test. So you can see that other queries are available so that I can easily use them when I want to without having to re-enter everything. Okay, so basically this is how I got the selection that I want. I'm going to hit the OK button and I'm going to roll this up again and just let you look at the advanced parameters. And this is where I'm going to be able to select that I only want the payment currency being a certain currency, US dollars. The payment has to come from the bank and the bank is the operating account. So I'm going to hit the OK button. All right. So here's your vendor payment proposal. And it has selected three different vendors because it's three vendors that we selected in our proposal. What the system has done is gone out and identified all open invoices and any debit memos also that are open and brought them back for us to review and edit. So 
looking at the JJ Co vendor, I'm reviewing this and I see two large invoices that I'm really not certain about wanting to pay. So the 20,000 and the 30,000, I would actually like to remove from the payment proposal. So I hit the remove. The system asks me, am I sure about that? I say, yes, I am. And now this is what's left. Again, if there's anything else you want to remove, you can continue. So the next step is to now move this into the payment journal. So this is where it says, you go down to the bottom here and you say, create payments. So it's gonna move that to the payment journal. And you get some information telling you that the operation is complete. So I'll close that out. And now you'll notice that there's only three lines for each one of the vendors that I've selected. And the reason there are only three lines is that when you use a method of payment check, it has been set up that there is one check for all open invoices in a pay run. And that's why this has been grouped this way. So the next step is that, yes, we have a method of payment check, but the payment status is none. We need to get that updated to sent, and we need a check number assigned. So step two is we need to generate payments. So go up here, hit generate payments. Make sure your method of payment has said a check, and make sure your export format says check, and select what bank account that you're using. And then we'll hit the OK button. This system has been set up that we're using pre-printed checks. So as a result in the operating account, the next check number the Dynamics believe should be used is 430. So we're going to check our printer, make sure that that is correct. Otherwise, we will make a change. And if it's OK, let's hit the OK button. You'll notice that I get an error message saying it can't find my printer. The reason being that I'm using a demo and it's not attached to a printer. But the important part here is that we have check numbers that have been assigned. So the printer has actually gone out and created these checks. So the next step would be that we need to post to the general ledger and the operation is completed. So there you have it. We have done a check run. What we did was we created a vendor payment batch. We ran the payment proposal to get the invoices. We then ran the generate payments to get the check number. And after that was done, we posted. Thank you and have a great day.